Good evening, everybody. So, first and foremost, about the developing brain and anesthesia, uh, there is this person who also has the developing brain. And with that, I declare my conflict of interest, which is obvious, though uh, we like the good things in life. And uh, despite the COVID era or not, but I don't have any conflict of interest on this particular presentation. Uh, see, the conflict with anesthesia, neonates, infants, the developing brain, the first conflict is that it is very well known that the use of a balanced anesthetic technique is beneficial in decreasing the neuroendocrine and the metabolic stress response to surgery and altering the pain processing uh, where it was anand who discussed about not only the neonate but also during fetal surgery that you have to take care of pain you had Fitzgerald who thought about this cutaneous hypersensitivity following peripheral tissue damage and he was talking about including vaccination and how it altered their uh, sense later on and then we had people like Tadio who said that, uh, you know, there is if uh, there was neonatal circumcision and if it was done without taking care of the pain, it had a significant effect later on in life. And when they saw a painful procedure like vaccination. So it is essential that you take care of pain in neonates. And if you look at it from the physiological point of view, uh, the nociceptive nervous system is mostly mature by 23 to 25 weeks post conceptual age in humans. The nociceptive nervous system is, but the anti nociceptive system develops much later in infancy, which means that premature and term infants are more sensitive to pain than adults. And why is this pain, especially if you don't take care of it when they are having pain, bad for the developing brain? Is because a chronic painful stimuli can provoke cell death in many areas of the brain, whether it is in the cortex, the thalamus, hypothalamus, amygdala, hippocampus. So it can cause cell death. So it's not a good thing to have. And of course, if you decide to withhold anesthesia during a painful procedure, it leads to poorer surgical outcomes and long term effects are seen later in childhood. And there were allusions to this in the first slide that I showed about neurodevelopmental issues, behavioral issues and cognitive defects. So the conflict is that you should be taking care of pain, you should be taking care of consciousness when an infant or a neonate undergoes a surgical or a painful procedure. The second part of it is this is when you throw a cat amongst the pigeons is there has been this data which has been amassing in literature regarding the potential adverse effects of anesthesia exposure on the developing human brain. Oppenheim and uh, this again is these are elegant ones, not necessarily on human beings, but uh, saying that it can cause cell death during development of the nervous system. Uh, the blockade of NMDA receptors can lead to apoptotic neurodegeneration uh, in the developing brain. But what actually inter made the people look into this kind of studies was very, very elegant studies which came out from Columbia. I think it's Columbia, Dr. Vesna, and don't ask me to pronounce the next part of her name, uh, whether early exposure to anesthetic, common anesthetic agents compound widespread neurodegeneration in the developing rat brain. Uh, is there another microphone which is on? Jayati, can you please take care of that? So which- Yes, sir, done. Yeah, which brings us to the act three, scene one the Hamletian question, or you can say the Hyderian question, to give or not to give, which is, will you give anesthetics to a surgical procedure? Will you withhold anesthetics during a surgical procedure? And will you give something which has got this potential 
or the uh, neurotoxicity that comes inherently packaged with this drug. So that is this dilemma to give or not to give. Let us look into the developing brain to understand this. Okay. So immediately after the birth, after birth, the brain is about 25% the adult size and is unevenly matured. The brain stem and the spinal cord are relatively well developed, whereas the limbic system and the cerebral cortex are still immature. <music>